All right, so today I'm going to talk about helium websites and resources that you can use for research for your helium mining operation. Um, I made a report called the Helium Business Manual, and it was basically for myself, just recording what I'm learning, and I'm going to share it with everyone. So if you want a copy of this report, you can just go to message me on Twitter, or you can just comment, actually comment in the video below, and I'll send you the report. It goes over the intro, rewards, suppliers, hotspots, antennas, and today's part of the report, which I'm going to share, is the resources portion. So different websites that you can look at just to track your helium revenue, track the potential, uh, ways to look at the top 100 cities, how to calculate taxes. There's all these different resources coming out by the helium community. Most of it is all open source. It's all free. So I'm just here to share, share some of that, right? So SiteBot, SiteBot.com is the first resource I'm going to share. And what SiteBot.com does is it aggregates all of the data on the blockchain and it breaks it down into helpful insights for you in your city. So I'm going to SiteBot.com slash Helium slash countries. And what you can see is the United States dominates helium mining, right? There's 19,000 miners in the States. Then you have Great Britain in second place and Canada in third place. So what you can do from there is if you're interested in the earnings in a certain city. So for example, Canada, I could click states, which is actually provinces. Then I could go Alberta and I could go to cities in Alberta. Then I could look at say Sherwood Park. And Sherwood Park has, let's go back. So Sherwood Park has 20 miners, right? 20 helium miners in one area. And they've generated 317 HNT tokens in a day, just yesterday alone. So that 20 miners is around six, was it 6,000? No, $3,900 that they generated in a day. So obviously you're gonna go and look and see what they're doing over there. So when you click on Sherwood Park, it then shows you the individual names and like Ancient Glossy Raven, they made two rewards yesterday. So what you can do is you can go use this site bot and you can look up your area and find out what the potential earnings or current earnings are. And I think it's a really great. So um, we're going to take this person here, which is who we want to look at. So Long Rosewood Swift. So you go on explorer.helium.com which is the main website, they've actually updated their, their stats. So explorer.helium.com. And then you're going to go long, was it long Rosewood Swift? And it shows there in Sherwood Park, Alberta. They have nine witnesses recently. They have eight nearby hotspots. Look at the distance, 700 meters, 900 meters, 1.1 kilometers, 1.2 kilometers, 1.3 kilometers, 1.3, 1.4, 1.7. They're all in the same area. So it's less than two kilometers. And this person, right, is earning, yesterday earned 70 HNT tokens. So 70 times 12.5, so $875 in a day. They're paying their rent really easily um, by mining in Sherwood Park. Like, if anyone lives in Edmonton, this is the place that you want to be living. If you can find an apartment, a house, a rental, that's where you want to be because for now, and it could change, you're going to be earning crazy, crazy earnings in a day. So, that is a good website to go to. Um, helium.com. So, explorer.helium.com. They show their election times, 39 minutes, block times, 55 seconds, current price, 1282, data credits, the countdown, the latest blocks. They did add more. So let's go to hotspots. So yeah, it shows 24,000 hotspots online, 324 in the last 
24 hours. In the last 30 days, 5,000 have come online, 3,000 cities, 66 countries. And then they show the top cities. So Chicago has 742, Brooklyn 548, New York 549. So you can just go and look at and see if your city is there. Toronto is number 14, right? Um, San Jose, Washington, Montreal. Where's Montreal? So Montreal is number 24, 117 miners in Montreal. Washington, 85. So you can just go and check out, see if your city's on there. Uh, where I'm from, the province is, I think there's eight in the province of Nova Scotia. That's a good website to go on. So we looked at SiteBot. We looked at explorer.helium.com, Fairspot. So what fairspot.host does is for the people that want to know how do they pay taxes, fairspot.host will at least give you some data insights on your taxes, right? So you're going to take that information and then give it to your accountant and your accountant's going to calculate your tax taxes for you. So you go to fairspot.host. change their website one second so you're gonna copy the link that I sent so fairspot.host slash HNT dash export dash mining dash tax because they want you to web sign up but you don't need to so then you're gonna take your helium wallet address so I'm gonna take this person uh, in Sherwood Park wallet address I'm just going to paste it in here. All that is not working. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's try this. There we go. So you copy the Helium wallet address and then you're going to show the income. So in 2021, this person has done wow geez 2021 this person has done ninety four thousand dollars it's crazy ninety four thousand dollars in income in 2021 three thousand transactions 2020 they did fifty one thousand dollars this is um this is changing right like this miner just why i'm, I'm you know freaking out this miner is four hundred and fifty dollars the miner is four hundred fifty dollars, and it's generating ninety four thousand dollars in income in in uh, what you know three months, four months. Yeah. So this is a really big opportunity. It's not going to last forever. I know that it's not going to last forever because there's going to be so many miners online that eventually you know the prices and and the, or they're not the prices, but the earnings potential is going to go down. There's also a halving coming. So, anyways, this is a good place where you can just go look at your taxes. You can download it. So you download that info to um, an Excel spreadsheet, and then you can calculate what you're going to pay on that. Alberta has a really good tax rate. So then helium.plus is another place. So let's go to helium.plus. Helium.place is also one. So helium.plus is the toolkit where you can calculate your earnings. Data credits and the HNT price. It's a nice little resource guide. Helium.place is good to see your miner in reference to other people's miners. Sometimes the website is laggy, but when it works, when it works, you can see the octagons where the earnings are distributed into. So the way Helium pays people is they have a certain amount of revenue per day reserved for physical boundaries. So I'm going to type 319 Main Street. Australia or South Wales. Let's see if it works today. Lately helium.place hasn't been working. So it doesn't seem to be working, we'll move on. But you go there, you can look at the coverage map. So then there's another map, the Helium map. Um, already looked at that, Explore. 
the H the HIP17 density map. So HIP17 is the change that HIP17 is a change that made it so that a geographic boundary has a certain amount of earnings. So you can look at it engineering.helium.com if you want. And so they, they split the cities up into little honeycombs. So this honeycomb has a certain amount, a finite amount of earnings it can make. So the person in this honeycomb, honeycomb should be earning more because they're the only ones there. That's my understanding of helium. And they scale it down because they don't want too many people. Uh, for example, in Miami, they don't want too many people in the same area. It's redundant to have 50 miners in one, you know, one building providing coverage. So you can go there, the original hex map, Google Earth, and Cloud RF. So Cloud RF is a way that you can figure out if you're going to have coverage in line of sight. Why is it not working? A line of sight calculator. Scatacore. Yeah, this is, I like this one. So the Scatacore line of sight calculator, what it does, it takes point A and it takes point B and it sees if there's anything in the middle and it will calculate the line of sight, right? So if your antenna needs to be higher to reach point A or point B so that they can mine your helium and actually can, you know, connect with each other, you can calculate that all online using Google Maps, right? It's not available by phone, so you have to do it on a desktop. So I would just drag. It also tells you the distance between two. So the max distance helium suggests is about 10 miles. I've seen from my experience, it's been five kilometers, which is what, 3.5 miles. So you wanna have, you just want to be able to calculate the distance between two points, for example, your house and a friend's house or your house and a family member's house and see if you can actually um, communicate with each other using the helium miner through line of sight. So I'm just going to focus on Pickering. I'm just going to zoom in on Pickering. So I have two points in Pickering. Uh, let me get closer. So the points I will pick is the Glen Cove Transit Station and the Pickering Nuclear Generation Station. Do they have a nuclear plant there? Okay, so this is the distance between the two is 2.45 kilometers. It looks like there's no line of sight there because it's red, but if I was to raise this antenna, maybe on the third floor of a house, and so now that it's 25 meters in the air, See what happens. So now that there's 25 meters in the air, there's like an elevation, right? So the elevation is showing that they're going to connect with each other. So that way you can just calculate right now that you can go at least 2.5 kilometers out. Now, if you keep going further and further out, you'll keep, um, you'll keep running into challenges, but the more miners that come in your area, the more you'll connect to. And you wanna be at least having connecting to 15 different people in your area. So if you're trying to build up an area, you want to try and build up at least 15 miners in your area, minimum 300 meters away, maximum, say, five kilometers away, and try to connect to all of them because that will give you the optimal earnings per day. So that's all the different sites. So I have that in the report. So if you want a copy of this report, just comment below in the video, and I'll send you a copy of the report. Um, there's going to be more and more resources coming on for Helium. So the next thing is going to be staking. If you have 10,000 coins in your possession, you're able to become a validator.